Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Yes, it's the guy from the internet. Hope you're doing well. I wanna show you uh, the garden. This is one thing that we've been working with to uh, help with moisture and weeds. There you go. And that is cardboard from Dollar General. So, we went and got a truckload of it. It's already broken down, so it's pretty easy. And opened it up further, did a little bit of cutting and fitting, and we've had it down for two days now. Nice thing about this is uh, it's going to uh, degrade into the soil, and it'll help amend the soil. And we're also gonna go across the top of it with some wood chips or wood shavings, something like that, depending on what I uh, decide on. But uh, I had talked about the heat it had been so, uh, this area gets so hot. This is actually what it's doing to a couple of the tomato plants. So you really have to stay up on uh, the watering. And that's why I have this box here because it gets some intense afternoon sun. There, there we go. And let's see the asparagus beans. I did not follow my grandfather's advice and plant four in a hill. I planted three. Should have listened to him. Everything is coming up nicely, except for one. And it just jacks up the whole thing. These are asparagus beans. So, eh, you know, way it is. Should have listened to granddaddy. Um, but you can see all these others are coming up nicely. And we have beans coming in all oh, that, those tomatoes are turning red those have tomatoes on them and you can see that these guys are starting to turn in these are um stringless 88s something like that um but they're coming in pretty good and i've got the others planted right there the bush beans uh, right there um, I found a watermelon plant growing in our, on our patio, in our patio. So I pulled it up as best I could and put it in here. So hopefully we'll see how it does. I really wasn't planning on doing any watermelon, but you know, if it's fortunate enough to grow as a volunteer, then I'll see what I can do with it. But the pumpkins are taking over I'll have to knock down all the rest of these and just leave two or three right there and again this is either pumpkin or squash and there's the watermelon between volunteer pumpkin or squash I don't know what they are go figure but the 12 foot tall okra trees are coming in nicely in hindsight I should have planted them way first and I won't have this problem uh, with heat. I do need to trim some of my tomatoes, uh, some of the leaves off of them, but you can see some are already three feet tall and have nice flowers. And uh, it's about time to start tying these guys up. I love the smell of tomatoes, the smell of the plants. You can see there we go time to start trimming them back <clears throat> if i wanted to i could take cuttings and some of you know this i could take that cutting trim some leaves off of it and plant it in dirt and it would root more than likely if you're going to do tomatoes by cuttings like that that's cloning it's a cloning process if you're going to do one or two be ten and uh, consider yourself lucky if you get five or six but they will transplant that way and here are the sweet peppers and these are the ones that we use for uh like cooking and everything and uh there's that lemon balm just taking over there's i actually have to cut it down and pull some up because it is invasive 
If you live close and you want lemon balm, let me know. But I'm going to wrap it up. Got to head to work to do a little bit of gainful employment. Take care of you people.